Christmas, everyone. Welcome to today's service. Today being the 25th of December, turn to the people around you, tell them Merry Christmas. Join me as we sing this song together. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. La 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 I hope you guys have enjoyed the lessons of December as we have been talking about the events that took place before, during, and after the birth of Jesus. If you have been following us, we've talked about the prophecy of Jesus. We've talked about the annunciation of the birth of Jesus and this special angel Gabriel who paid Mary a very special visit. And today, we are going to learn about how Jesus was born. Remember, Jesus is our king. He is our, our everlasting father. But he was born in a very not so good place that many people expected. So if you want to find out where he was born, let us join the teacher in the class as they teach us how Jesus was born. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi boys and girls. Merry Christmas to you. It's a beautiful day. The day we have all been waiting for. And do you know what happened on this day? We are going to find out today in our lesson but of course, as always, before we start, my name is Teacher Joanne. We're going to start with a word of prayer before we get into a very interesting lesson for the day, the most important day for us as Christians, okay? So when I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, I bow my head, and then I pray. Almighty God, we humble ourselves before you this beautiful morning which you have given unto us. This is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you so much for enabling us to see this day, this Christmas day of 2021. Thank you for your blessings upon us and as we start this lesson, we pray that you may be with us as we learn the importance of Christmas. May, you, may Christ be born in our hearts and may we continue to enjoy your presence in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, boys and girls, as we said, today the, is very special to us as Christians, and this day is called Christmas Day. Who knows what Christmas means? Hmm. I'm sure some of you boys and girls at home, I'm sure you know. But for those who don't know, and even for those who know, we're going to get into this as a reminder, and also just to celebrate this day together. And our lesson today is going to come from the book of, here's my Bible, from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 until 20. Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 until 20. And this story tells a story about the birth of Jesus, which is what Christmas Day is all about. So let's all put our hands together like this, everybody. Shh. We're now getting into an important and very necessary lesson. So first of all, who remembers what we learned last week? I hope some of you can remember, if not all of us. And last week we spoke about how the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph and told Joseph that his, um, his betrothed wife called Mary was going to deliver a baby and this baby was going to be called Jesus and he was going to be the savior of the world. So in Luke chapter 2, we now get into that. So a long, long, long time ago, in this, in Jerusalem, there was a, the leader. The leader was called Augustus Caesar. And Augustus Caesar made a decree and a command that everyone in the whole land was going to be counted. And I know some of you might know this, but we also do that even in our country when we have something called a census. And that is what was happening in that land. So everybody had to go back to their homes so that they could be counted. And among these people, there was Joseph and there was Mary. So Joseph 
came from a town called Bethlehem. So they had to leave all the way from Nazareth where they lived and go all the way to Bethlehem. Were there cars? No, there were no cars. And you know at that point, Mary was so heavily pregnant, she was very close to delivering her baby. So they started the long journey. The journey was so long and tiring. They were on a donkey, they were walking, but they, do it, they did it for many days until finally they got to Bethlehem. Guess what happened when they got to Bethlehem? They went looking for a place to sleep. They looked at all the hotels, they looked at everywhere, there was no space. Everybody had gone back to their home so that they could be counted and there was no space. And do you know what happened? Joseph and Mary got this place that was an inn and they got a place which was a manger. A manger is a place where animals are kept. And that is why here we have some grass, which is where um, Jesus was laid when he was delivered by Mary. So they went and set their things next to the cows and the goats and all the animals. And when the time came for Mary to deliver, she delivered and gave birth to her son called Jesus, the savior of the world. What a beautiful night that was. It was so exciting. Mary and Joseph were so excited. And do you know what else happened? That same night, an angel of the Lord appeared to some shepherds who were outside taking care of their animals. And the angel appeared and told the shepherds, guess what? A savior has been born in the town of Bethlehem. His name is Jesus and he is here to save the world from all their sins and all their troubles. And the shepherds were surprised. And what else happened? A whole group of angels appeared and they started singing, Oh, glory to God in the highest. And they sang songs of praise. And the shepherds were so excited. And they went looking for Jesus to, so that they could worship him and so that they could um, celebrate his birth. And all this is found in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 8. I hope you all have your Bibles. So in Luke chapter 2 verse 8, we are told about the shepherds who are watching over the, um, their livestock and all their animals in the field. And when the angel came, the, um, the angels rushed to Bethlehem to see what the Lord was telling them about. And people were so amazed by what the shepherds told them because the shepherds went and said, guess what? We have seen the Savior who has been born to this lady called Mary and a gentleman called Joseph. And they told them of all the amazing things which had happened with the angels appearing and singing all the praises. And the people were all amazed and everybody was happy. And Mary kept all these things in her heart because she felt so favored that the Lord had chosen her to be the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And this day is so important to us as Christians because, you know, Jesus Christ was born to save us from our sins. And over the course of the weeks and the months to come, we're going to learn more about how Jesus grew up and everything that happened in his life so that he could be there for us and so that he could save us from all our problems. So boys and girls, as we celebrate this day, as you open your presents, as we sing the Christmas carols, don't forget to remember the importance and the significance of this day. And what did we say is the importance of this day? I hope someone can remember that we've said that Jesus was born to be our savior and to rescue us from all our sins. So Christmas is a beautiful and an amazing day. And as we wrap up, I'm going also to give you the memory verse of the day. I hope you're all going to practice so that when we meet, we're all going to say it together. And the memory verse comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 11. Luke, chapter 2, verse 11 in our Bibles. And it says, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. It says, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. And these are the words that the angel Say it to the shepherds. Let us all remember these words and let us celebrate this day. Go and tell all your friends, go and tell your family, your parents, your siblings about the significance of this day. As we finish, you're going to sing a, a 
one song and then we're going to pray and close our lesson. I know you all know this song, so let us all sing together. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Thank you, boys and girls. Let us close with a word of prayer. And when I want to pray, I put my hands together. I close my eyes, I bow my head, and then I pray. We thank you, dear Jesus, for teaching us the importance of this beautiful day called Christmas. And we pray that Christ may continue to be born in our hearts even as we celebrate his birth. May we continue to remember the significance of um, his birth in our lives. And may you continue to watch over us and guide us in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you boys and girls, see you next time. Bye!